Hello and welcome back, or welcome if you're new here. We're going down Pat Pong Wan at the moment and we need to find some street food to eat. We haven't had lunch or bre breakfast? Breakfast or lunch. So now we need to find something to eat and we're gonna go do it street food style. So let's see what we can find. some crepes with some fillings. Uh, Michael got one with sausage and I got one with egg. It was 10 by each. So let's try it out. Oh, tastes good. Ooh. Seems to be some kind of like sauce in there as well, but the egg and the crispiness of the crepe is really nice. I need to fuel up with some coffee because we're going to go to Lumpini Park after we eat and it's really really big and it's a lot of walking so I need a coffee to get me going. Thank you. Alright we have some coffee now we have to go find some more food because one crepe just doesn't fill this belly up. So this is a little side street off the really busy Ceylon Road and we come here because number one it's really close to our apartment and we're staying but number two it is lined with street food up and down basically the whole way further than I want to walk today actually to be honest so this is really good and really quick way to come and get some of your food they have like McDonald's umbrellas over their things which distinguishes it really differently and I really like it let's go have a look at what other things they have on this side so we can eat before we go to the park I think I said no spice for you, so you might be in a world of pain. Yeah, I, <laughs> <laughs> I got a, I think it was just garlic um, stir fried chicken with rice, and I asked for an egg as well, and um, hopefully no spice. Um, so we'll see. Oh, great. <laughs> well, we might get a little bit more sweaty in a second. <laughs> okay, so Michael has his spicy pad crepau, and I have my stir fried chicken, I think with some garlic and a fried egg on top as well. So we're going to eat this. There's no chili in that and I'm so I'm so happy about that one. I know that everyone says like chili like makes the taste of the food come out, but to me it just burns my mouth so much I can't taste the food, so <laughs> got some fried egg on there. Chicken is moist, the rice is like delicious, the egg is really nicely cooked. I'm having like a moment right now and today where I'm like, if you told me five years ago. I'd be sitting on the side of the road eating street food in Thailand. I would have been like, what? <laughs> like this is crazy just sitting where we are and seeing all the people on motorbikes and people cooking all the food in their little stalls and stands. And like, Bank people would work in the nearby shops coming out to eat street food for their lunch break. Like, oh, I'm just, I love it here. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try the pad krapao even though I'm not very good at spice. I'm taking all the chili down. It's still spicy. Thank you. That was really good. <laughs> it really was. So we that's the funny thing, right? We're staying forever. Oh, it's so, you know, there's not much food around. There is. You just have to look for it. You have to go down the street. You have to look around. You have to explore. And it's everywhere. It's it's more so here, I thought, than Chiang Mai. Um, there's more food I think on the side of the street I've seen than um, anywhere else. There's a mile over there? We have to. Uh, we have to. We're off to get the Milo. <laughs> Can I have a Milo? Yes. Which are big one? Tower right? What? I do have. Thank you. 
This is a big one. <laughs> big smile on Thank you. Oh, yeah. So this is a massive ice Milo. Look how big this thing is. Now this is a proper, obviously, street food vendor Milo. Is it going to be better than the Milo we had at Chattachek Market by the actual branded Milo? Now let's have a look. Oh, scroll me. It's good. It's good. It's good. So good. I say that every time now, but like this is amazing. This was only 30 baht. I think you've flipped the script a little bit by doing a five five Milo star Milo so early in your Thailand journey. This one's a six. Six out of five. <laughs> so creamy and sweet and less cocoa-y, more sweet creamy. Delicious. Absolutely delicious. So, a bit of a pro tip, if you're on Silom Road and you want to cross the hectic Bangkok traffic, don't. <laughs> Go to the MRT station and cross under to exit one, then you pop up basically in Lumpini Park. So you go under the road rather than through it. A lot less dangerous and there's aircon, so it's a lot more comfortable. <laughs> and here we are. So we just went under the ground rather than over it and it's a lot easier. <laughs> and now we're straight into Lumpini Park. So Lumpini Park is a massive park. Google told me it was 142 acres and it's smack bang in the middle of Bangkok. You have Silam on one side, you have Sukhumvit on the other and it's just a massive big green park for people to come. People are playing basketball, there's a gym, there's a swimming pool, there's outside gyms, there's an outside basketball court. So you can come and read, have a picnic, walk around and just kind of get some exercise in. It's the greenest part of Bangkok and it's a really nice place to do it. Just watch out for the lizards. So we found some people playing, what is it? Sepak Sepaktakor, I think you say it, that's how you say it. There you go. And they use a net, sort of like volleyball. But it looks to me like you can only use your feet. And your head. And maybe your head, and you just kick it up and over the wall like a volleyball. Like Look how, like, how insane they are. Watch him. Chop kicking and backflipping. And that's crazy. So we're walking through Lapini Park and we came to this place where obviously they had been a food stall, like a food, what would you say? Food court here and it's completely abandoned now. There's nothing here, it's all packed up and that's really sad to see that obviously that didn't survive what's happened but it looks like there to be, there used to be a lot of food here. It's full of crows. It's full to of, be, to be like yeah. scary, there are crows everywhere. I don't know if you can hear them but they're like dipping and diving into stalls and like what looks like bins and things like that. Yeah. So these markets and these shop fronts would have been someone's like whole business, like their livelihood and everything they sort of worked for and now it's completely, literally empty. So just make sure that when you do come to Thailand, uh, if you do, that you're supporting local businesses like this and street food vendors and people who are only just sort of surviving. Okay, this is really cool. There's a full on outdoor gym here. I'm not gonna film there because people are working out. I think that's a little bit disrespectful, but it's really cool. There's plates and benches and everything's really old school. This is everything that you kind of need to work out with, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Guys, it's a Komodo dragon. <laughs> oh my God, he's gonna come. Oh, oh my God, he's coming up, he's coming. <laughs> Okay, I'm not sitting there anymore. Let's go. <laughs> okay, so that isn't actually a Komodo dragon. It's a monitor lizard. And I've never ever seen one before I came to Thailand. And my very, very first altercation <laughs> with one happened when I first got to Bangkok and we went to one of the temples. Um, Grand Palace. Grand Palace. And it went a little bit like this. Myanmar. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. And then also the other week we came to Lumpini Park and I saw another one and that went a little bit like this. Oh. 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 <laughs> so needless to say, um, we're not best friends yet. Um, everyone's here. There's all people, all ages, all fitness levels, all everything. And it looks like everyone just comes here to walk or get their exercise in. People come here for a picnic. People come here to go to the gym. People come here to read a book. People come here to chill out. I guess it's one of the only bits of greenery I've seen in Bangkok so far and you're still surrounded by all of these high-rise buildings around the outside. This is pretty crazy. Look at this one. Oh my. 
Okay, so if you are going to come to Lumpini Park, I would suggest coming a little bit later in the afternoon just so it's not as hot because I'm sweating <laughs> like no tomorrow and make sure you bring some water. So we're going to go grab some of that right now. Every direction you're looking at is stunning. Yeah. At this park. Like if you look that way, it's like straight down Silom Road and you can see the Saladang BTS line. Yeah. Look this way, it's a beautiful park view. This way you've got the, the straight lines and then you've got your water and everything over that way. It's incredible. It's beautiful. So this area looks really cool. This looks like a little bit of what, Tokyo did you say? Or Japanese. Something? Japanese. Line, yeah. I've never been, but Michael said it does look a little bit like that, reminiscent of some bars and little holes in the wall places to eat in Tokyo. It feels like Shinjuku in Tokyo. Uh, yeah, Americana. Yeah, Chai Car. I need another coffee. <laughs> We still have to go to Seven and get some water, but I just thought we'd show you this little alleyway. Really cute, it's got coffee shops, there's like I think waffles, some pandan waffles and things. Got it. So cute. <laughs> so cute. So a lot of you were telling me from the other video I did making some Milo ice that I forgot this ingredient. Um, it's like evaporated milk or sweetened condensed milk or something, but it's like a liquid and you pour it over the top. So I'm gonna get it and hopefully this makes my Milo ice tastes better but I'm also going to put it on my TikTok so make sure you're following my TikTok um, and I'll do it on there and update. I'm gonna try and go up and have a little swim in the pool upstairs. Oh, there's limits on how many people can go in there at the moment because of the virus so let's see if we can get a spot. Okay so I came up to our rooftop to have a swim but it's all booked out so I'm just sitting here now. <laughs> I feel like I haven't really done enough in Bangkok like our time here is coming to an end in a few weeks and I feel like I just haven't done enough like Bangkok is such a big city and I feel like we haven't explored that enough yet I feel like we got so into work and everything and we haven't really seen that all that Bangkok sort of has to offer yet so I'm feeling a little bit sad about the fact that we're leaving Bangkok and I don't feel like I've done enough I love Bangkok and I love Chiang Mai and I love the mountains and everything but I love the beach and I want to make sure that I get to Phuket so while we're up in Chiang Mai though, we have plans to visit different provinces and we're going to go to places like Pai and Isan and everything like that. So we are going to spread out and go on some adventures and travel around a little bit more to different provinces in Thailand because I really want to get out and see some more. Make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for making it this far in the video. I will see you in the next one. Bye. I'm so close to it. Good. It's right there. <laughs> this is a big whopper. There's a kid, there's a mom, a mom cat. Four kittens. With kittens over there. 